I'm Shauna Parsons, and here is today's Fox 12 Flash Briefing. Protesters toppled a statue of Thomas Jefferson at Jefferson High School last night. This happened after protesters had gathered at the school and then started to march. They also spray-painted the base of the statue with the words George Floyd 846 and slave owner. Jefferson was America's third president and one of the authors of the Declaration of Independence. He owned more than 600 slaves in his lifetime. A 19-year-old man in Portland says he got the coronavirus after marching throughout the city. Ethan Snyder says he protested for seven days at the beginning of June. Last Friday, he started to feel tired and had a fever, so he went to a drive through testing facility where he tested positive for the virus. Health officials say anyone who's been out protesting should get tested. Now here's Fox 12's Andy Carson with a look at the forecast. Well, we have two more days of cool, wet weather out there with highs only in the mid-60s today and tomorrow. Could even see an isolated thunderstorm on Tuesday afternoon. Then Wednesday, we'll see clouds early, then sunshine warming up to 73 degrees, and then welcome to summer, my friends. Uh, figurative, figuratively and literally, Thursday through Sunday with all kinds of sunshine, low to mid-80s. By the way, summer officially starts there on Saturday at 2.43 in the afternoon. Shauna? Ah, uh, it looks gorgeous, Andy. Thank you. For news and weather updates anytime, just download the Fox 12 app on your phone or tablet, or you can log on to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash fox12.